Hi, this is Jane Celia Hatch, Bethesda Star, Targeted Shaman. And I'm going to try to channel Princess Diana today. Um, I'm looking forward to it because it puts me also uh, to a certain degree into her dimension, which is very peaceful, <laughs> especially compared to what is going on on the planet right now. And of course, um, there's a lot of attention fo focused on the royal family right now, in particular, um, Prince Harry and Prince William and Meghan Markle. And as you know, Princess, or may not know, Princess Diana is Harry and William's mother. So I am, um, I've done two videos on it. They were sort of strong. I have very strong opinions because I've done a lot of research uh, about people like Oprah Winfrey and Megan. And so they were strong, I do admit. Uh, so I'm looking forward to what I know is going to be a more gentle approach because Diana, um, her primary energy um, is very mothering. And mine is too, I, I guess, which makes me um, also kind of I could be a little ferocious because I'm trying to mother protect the planet and the children and this planet. So that's my motivation. It's not ego. It's trying to save the children on this planet, which are endangered and the, and, and earth and, and, you know, preserve freedom or regain it. And um, so anyway, that's a long story. So I'm going to call in Diana um, I'm going to try to, you know, not everybody shows up when you're channeling. Generally, you have a feeling beforehand that the, their energy is near you. And I did feel that today about Diana. And because you can't, you have to be in tune. You can't just jump in and say, I'm going to channel so-and-so. I already have a, a spiritual connection to her. So uh, I know I'm, I'm more apt to have her come into my energy field than, you know, somebody arbitrary, although that can happen too. You know, after Prince died, he came into my energy field. I spent a lot of channeling sessions with Michael Jackson. Um, so it can happen. Uh, but with Diana has been the most consistent, the most um, strongest connection. So I, of course, want to ask her some questions right now about what she feels is going on and where she feels like this is going. Um, as you know, uh, Megan has uh, accused the royal family of racism <clears throat> and um, she has driven the, um, the, uh, the, the escape, they feel to escape from the UK to LA so she's really in the driver's seat now. And I guess I wanted to find out how Diana felt about that, how she feels about Harry and William and um, what she thinks is gonna be the outcome to all this. Um, I, I've already done a prediction, uh, so I know what I think. So hopefully I can differentiate her, uh, her perspective from mine. But another thing that's true, you tend to have um, com commonalities between, if you're a channeler or a psychic, you have commonalities between the spirits you channel and your own self. And that for the part, they come to me because they know, I know what they know, you know, she can't, she can go to other channelers. Maybe, you know, she wants to talk about, um, more everyday issues, but she knows I know about basically everything that's going on as far as, you know, these rabbit holes. So that's, I think, why Michael Jackson came to me too. Like, cause you, you can channel people, but you don't know what you don't know. So if they have knowledge that's not in your sphere of thinking or belief system, I mean, you can catch it, but it, you know, it'd be very hard for you to channel something you totally, completely disagree with, or you, it's not, you don't even know it exists. 
you you could like they could give you a symbol you know like a car or a tree or you know something burning down and you could say it but you may not make the, the connection so what i'm getting at is channelers often have hum people incarnate often have commonalities with the spirits they're channeling because they know they can get their information through and they can read it in your energy field you know when you're on the spirit realm um they can see exactly who you are by your energy field and we're, we're getting closer to that here uh but we're still doing it uh, intellectual which isn't as comprehensive so i'm gonna um smudge i, I smudged late earlier today i kind of had a hard night with targeting and um if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm also a targeted individual so um that's what i'm talking about it's really important for me to clear out any energies in my in my field that may inhibit or distract me you know, it could be from a conversation I had. It's not always negative. It's just, you know, thought forms are real. They take up space in your energy field. So, and this is just plain California sage. I don't know what keeps happening to me. Green screen, it's like gone. So I, I usually have one or two or three crystals. This is uh, selenite. And then I use my flower essence. This, um, this is white um, rose. It's sort of the angel of the spirit world. And it helps me connect to my highest self. And you can get this too. I ship it from my website and make my own flower essences. So right now I'm calling in all of my spirit guides, empowering, loving, passionate spirit guides. That's for protection from interference. You know, not everybody does that. Generally, psychics don't. I'm sort of a psychic shaman. And one of the things that distinguishes shamans from other healers is power animals. And you can read all about power animals on my website, BethesdaStar.com. And another thing I do that's a little bit different is I often travel to meet um, spirits like Diana. Um, so I'm sure my lions show up to accompany me. I'm never alone. I always have protection because just like on earth, there's there's energies that want to take you off your path, trick you. And power animals um, will sense it even before I will and give me a warning. It doesn't generally happen, especially in upper world where I'm going. It can happen in middle world a lot. Kind of looking at Diana's picture too here. going up, but it's really just a change in frequency. But the ascension process deepens my focus. So I generally see Diana, there's a, a 
a temple in upper world. It's made of marble, a, a very light, like white pink. And I've been going there for decades, a couple of decades to meet my guides in upper world. And I think it began with St. John. And so, be sure that it's not the image I have of her in my mind. Oh yeah, I think I have her in focus. Um, well, she doesn't usually sit on a wrought iron fence or wood. It's a little bit too ordinary for her. Um, she says. <laughs> So she dressed a little different today too, um, a pink skirt and a white blouse. And I do have that image of her from the Bashir interview and I hope for some reason she's giving me that image. And it is, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna sit down beside her. Um, she is, she's upset, she's pacing a little bit. She's very upset. She's upset. She's not usually. Let's see, how, how can I help you? I'd like everyone to know that this is not my son speaking. She means Harry. This, this is not him. I know my son. He's very upset. Um, she's, she's like all mothers, like she wants to be there. Like, and I think she has been there for him beside him, but it's like, you know, when you're in the spiritual and they're in the physical, there's only so much you can do. Um, she's like, she's just like kind of bit her thumb. Um, and generally you don't feel things as much as you would on the earth, like you're, there's a lot of protection. So, so she's not getting this as harshly as if she was on the earth. She's, she's like, this is not my Harry. This is not Harry. This is, so I'm sorry. holding something in the wind. I thought it was a charm. She looks like it's a charm bracelet. Oh, Megan has a bracelet, a charm bracelet. She's wearing it. <laughs> I don't think Diana's too happy. <laughs> That's so unlike her. She's so, she's so generous, but oh, I know it's tying her to Megan. Yeah, that can happen if you wear someone's jewelry or, you know, do a repetitive motion they do, or you somehow simulate, emulate, vibrationally connect to someone who is gone on, you call them in. So she doesn't like, she does not like it. I'm not laughing at her. She's just generally so calm, but it's her bracelet. She doesn't want Megan to wear her bracelet because it's pulling her in to her. So why, why are you bothered by she's, she's showing me a picture of Megan looking at Harry and feeling, Megan's feeling his head with her ideas. And she shows me his ideas are not coming back to Megan. They're just going in like she's filling him up. And 
it's not filling him in a light, bright way. Like you would become God filled or joy filled. It's an emptiness. Gives me an image of them holding hands like they're playing this kind of game and um it's like a trick she's showing me like this card there's a trick there's a trick going on sort of like a she's like see this see this but don't see this it's like um she's confusing him and harry just so lost he, he doesn't he's he's swallowing it he's like keeping it down because she's filled his oh my gosh yeah she has filled his mind with thoughts but his body is have has a different reaction but he's ignoring he's like swallowing because diana show me megan's thoughts are going into harry and so this is He's wrapped up in the mind, the brain. It's like this, you might, it's not hypnosis, not necessarily mind control. It's a form of mind control, um, but it's, it's just extreme influence. So Diana, I, it's pretty clear how you feel about the relationship between Megan and Harry. She's very worried about Harry. Uh, she made an, an accusation against the Windsors or somebody in the castle or somebody. She said, they said, they were concerned about what color the baby Archie would be. Do you think that's true? Well, I don't have a lot of good things to say necessarily about the firm as they call it. But I truly doubt they would be that stupid. She says they're too calculating. Why would Megan say that? Why would Megan say that? That they thought they had said to her she was going to have, they were concerned about the color Archie would be. I see like an explosion, like she wanted an explosion, a bombshell. How does that serve her, the attention and the sympathy and Harry's sympathy? So, What do you think Harry should do? Well, I see a baby carriage. It's, it's, it's Harry, I think, and Diana. Oh my gosh. So sad. She's holding him. She wants. She wants, he needs to be nurtured and, and, and loved and in a real way, then he would be able to avoid the fake way. She 
ask us all to pray for Harry. Send him love. That's what will give him the strength to find himself again. Saying he, a part of him already does want to leave, but she keeps pulling him in with sympathy. You know, feel sorry for me, feel sorry for me. Look, look, look what they're doing. Look what they're doing. So the more she can create the empathy, the more she can keep pulling him back. See him eventually be able to leave. How about a William? Just William is has a lot on his shoulders. He's carrying the weight of the monarchy in a way. It's like everything is his responsibility now. She's seeing Charles just doesn't have it in him. He William's carrying the weight of the world. Uh, it's William's. The queen, she doesn't really seem to be. She almost seems like she's in another world or not, not here or something. Or not affected at all. William is taking it all. Not even Charles. Charles is just doing his little going pansies and you can't really. I don't know, he's been secondary for so long, it looks like. He doesn't even know how to take responsibility. For some reason, William knows how to be more responsible than Charles. He took it on very early. Yeah, he has the weight of the world. How do you feel about Kate? Kate's been very hurt by something. She's just struggling. I think maybe William, William somehow. She's really struggling right now. Not in the same way Harry is, like they have a strong, mutually beneficial relationship. It's a little boring when I have my eyes closed. When I ask about the royal family, I see his face, William's face, forefront, Charles, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Softy, famous strong. Diana, I don't think the vaccine is safe and I, I think they're promoting it. I know why the queen is, because I think she is part of a whole different world. Not a very nice one. I'd say Illuminati, but they are struggling with this too. They're promoting things they don't really they should they have to do it they are trapped in a way like harry has said they're trapped they have to do what the queen wants them to and charles has just jumped in but they're still fighting they are trapped as harry said i think now that i've talked to diane i think it's true harry went from the fire to the frying pan like everyone to pray for her sons. She says spring is coming.
What do you see for America? Rebirth. After evil is leaving, you know, the evil is still leaving and we're just seeing it. She loves spring. She gave her some. Lily of the Valley. She looks, she looks brighter. Let's pray for my son. I had another question. I intuitively felt that Megan was really not going through exactly what you went through for good reason. You had no husband, you were, you were a child, the whole family was against you. I felt like Megan was not really suicidal. She was just saying that. show me these mechanisms or somebody is that like the inner workings of a clock like it was part of a a well-oiled well well planned out like it was like Megan opened her coat and I saw all this machinery and shut it it's like it is such a machine it's a machine in operation which means she had a lot of help planning this it's a well-oiled machine. Diana nods kind of ominously. She says, but life will return, spring will return. We all have our lessons to learn. I send him as much love, I'm with him as much as I can. But I'm not sure that's really what I should be doing because he's not feeling the whole impact of what's happening if I'm there guarding him and all the time. I would really like to get my bracelet back from her. So, <laughs> or he he would like Harry to get it back. It, it's like pulling because it was such a favorite piece of jewelry and pulling Diana in to, to Megan. I don't know if Megan understands what's called, it's like there's a name for it when you wear jewelry of someone else and you pull in that. So that's, <laughs> not because she is materialistic, but because of the energy, it's clean, it, it's um, like has a hold over Diana. Um, and she doesn't, she doesn't want that. My, Jenna, my daughter, Diana doesn't want that. That kind of an energy, energy exchange. Okay, I will pray for your sons. That's good. I'm going to just step back into the spirit world. I'm calling my lions and we are going to leave. Descend.
So you heard all of that. I don't need to go over it. I thought that was really fascinating. Um, I love doing channeling because I get to leave here for a little bit. And it's um, it feels really beautiful and, and light. And uh, I did feel Diana was a little bit more upset than I than I usually see her. Um, and it, a part of it is she's being called by that bracelet that's it's creating quite the connection. And it sounds like she's been with Harry, but um, she's going to step back a little so that he can really feel the consequences of this. Because with her energy there, it's like, He's thinking everything's fine. And part of it's because Diana's with him um, energetically. So as you have heard, please, you know, pray for her children. And all beings need love and compassion. And um, if you send that out into the world, it is powerful. So your prayers never go for nothing, that your voice, your feelings, your energy has substance in the spirit world. So I'm gonna um, end now, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, comment. Um, I Everything I do is sort of monitored. So if people may comment and they could possibly take them down. So I may have to come up with a different way people can comment um maybe you could um email me because um the i am getting more and more likes but um you know there there should be a lot more comments comments statistically speaking so it may be that if you want to comment you want to share information you might have to email me because as a targeted individual everything i do is monitored and um I mean, almost everything, everything I do online for sure. Uh, so I'm gonna put my email and if you really want to comment, you know, and I do need comments, I do need feedback. I need to know if, if you guys like this or how I could improve. Um, I'm gonna leave my email and please email me um, until I can, you know, also comment too. Uh, if I'm ever gonna get monetized, I need more comments, I need more likes. I need more shares and I need more watch time. So, and subscribers, I need a thousand subscribers. So anyway, love to everyone and I hope you enjoyed that. I really did.